An Introduction to Mysticism Wichita Lineman Instant Enlightenment Physical Enlightenment Such a beautiful song, such a haunting song and I don't know, I haven't read people's reviews or opinions but but obviously there's many dimensions to the song of longing, of you know, long distance phone calls, of driving, of movement, and of isolation of the line man. And yet it, in connecting in with the whole network, the fabric, you know, the, the grid, plugging in. But you know what is the meaning of the song? Why? Why is it so popular? Why is it so very, very popular? I know it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song and a beautiful tune. You know, a haunting, haunting refrain. But it's the meaning in song. A very, you know, deep and special meaning. And a simple meaning which is our introduction to mysticism and strangely the final goal of mysticism at a level instant enlightenment so there's Jimmy Webb driving down the highway 50 mile stretch just telegraph poles flashing by and halfway across he glimpses a lineman at one of the poles talking on the line and then he's gone you know, and he's hypnotized again by more of the poles flashing by back into the trance you see that lineman connected with something very deep and the song is in what technically we call divine objectivity describing that moment that instant that instant when it was like there was another human being there a man above us and behind us and then gone a man or a woman above us and behind us and gone and there we are back in the trance and there's Jimmy Webb back in the trance driving along and he has to write a song for Glenn Campbell who sings the most wonderful version the original the Wichita Lyman that magical moment when Jimmy Webb was driving along in a trance you know floating out of himself floating out of himself and then suddenly there was the Wichita lineman floating above him which connected with a man floating above him in Jimmy Webb A man floating above us and behind us. And suddenly he's gone. But we all have that feeling, you know, being above and being behind and being cut off from. And that longing which comes out you know in the phone line singing in the wire in that isolation of the line man but a deeper line man the line man of our ancestors the line man of our nature from life to life our reincarnating uncreated self physical enlightenment the seed of man, the pearl of great price, Gnosis, 
instant enlightenment, physical enlightenment, the which is alignment above us and behind us and it's gone. And this is the story we hear of the Zen masters, of their enlightenment. They get into a deep trance through some meditation practice. A deep trance, a deep focus of attention, a calmness into a trance and then suddenly something happens. They slip over the step, the drum hits them, they fall over something hits them and at that moment they're suddenly free of their physical body and of this world and they're back to the seed of man the uncreated self Gnosis the July physical enlightenment For me, it was when I was in a deep trance from weeks of meditation, regular meditation, and then I was squeezing out of the bookshop after the meditation class, and Mohan was talking to Martine, and I couldn't get past. <coughs> and I said to Mohan, to join in the conversation but we're not separate and at that Mohan's astral body stepped out of his physical body and into mine right before my very eyes he stepped out of his body and into mine and obviously I was shocked I then virtually pushed past him and staggered out of the shop I'm walking along the road. But as I you know, came back, I realized I was the star child, the holy seed, a man above and behind, floating beyond this world, the holy seed. Gnosis to July and then everyone walking past me with all the suffering on their faces I saw that they too were the holy seed A July the little man above and behind floating above all of this world when I became enlightened I went to the market and on my way home I noticed that everyone was enlightened too everyone else was enlightened also and this is the direction we need to get back to our true self that little one in our hearts that spirit floating above and behind that gives us our sense of direction in life from life to life our purpose in life our ancestors our previous lives, our future lives as our great great grandchildren the abstract purpose from the little one, the holy seed floating above and behind the Wichita lineman is still on the line